What's the first thing we're doing? Okay, how much butter we need? Two ounces. Two ounces. Okay, this is a two ounce ladle. Okay, so you guys, for any type of liquid that you need, let's say you need an ounce of liquid, okay, you get a half an ounce of this. Half of a ladle, I should say this. Um, two ounces clarified butter right there. Now, we talked the other day, okay, we're going to take, we're going to turn this down to about medium heat, okay. Now, see the size that we cut our beer pot? Okay, it's about medium dice. Okay, we're using one meat step only, not three. Okay, medium dice because we're going to cook this um, this sauce for a little bit longer than our velouté, so we want to be as medium dice. Okay, now, like I said, we're going to be straining this out, right? So we don't need to make sure it's like knife cut medium dice proficiency. Okay, approximate size is great. Okay, if we were going to leave this the uh, mirepoix in here, we want to do a lot more precise knife cuts. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so this is going, so what are we trying to accomplish here? Okay, we want to brown our, our mirepoix. Okay, so we want to brown the mirepoix so that as this is cooking, I'm going to start on our velouté. So, note everyone, I'm using about a medium heat over here. Okay, you want to be able to multitask as much as possible so we can get as much done in a short amount of time. That's what you're going to be paid for when you go out to work. Okay, this is a couple things you guys can do even while, you know, as you're learning, okay, to multitask. Okay, velouté, what's our first uh, ingredient we need for velouté? Okay, we're going to place butter in the pan. How much butter do we need? That's going to be two ounces, chef. Two ounces, same amount, so that's easy, huh, guys? Okay, so, our mirepoix, what color mirepoix do we have here? White mirepoix. Okay, we have a white mirepoix, and it's cut a lot smaller. Why do we cut it smaller? It's going to cook a lot quicker. Okay, and we want to, what we want to do with this is we do not want to create any color at all. So we want to sweat our mirror block. Okay, so we're going to get this sweating okay, over about medium high heat. Okay, producing no color at all. But in the meantime, we're trying to produce color on our mirror block for our Espanol. So we got kind of yin and yang going here, right guys? Yes, okay. okay, so tomorrow what we're going to do is, you guys were divided into groups yesterday, I'll go over that with you again today. Okay, we're going to get everything mixed out, we may have time to do that tonight. Okay, and then tomorrow you guys are going to gather your mise en place, we're going to have all the mise en place for um, your four sauces over there, you're going to gather everything for your mise en place. You're going to make your three sauces, you're going to make your espanol, your velouté, and your bechamel. And then we're going to clean up and we're going to do hollandaise together. Okay. Everyone's going to make three sauces So If you guys want to work in groups, okay, groups of two, that's fine, but each person's going to make their own sauces. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so we've got this sweated. We don't want to brown it, so we're, we're about ready to add our flour to our velouté. So we're going to add our flour. So equal parts flour, okay, to butter. Okay, we're making what's called a blonde roux. Okay, now if this gets a little bit too dry, okay, sometimes flour varies. Okay, how much... Uh, Thick mean powered adds. We're gonna add just a little bit of butter to that. Okay. The consistency we want to look for. You might want to just kind of keep this in mind for roux. Want the consistency of like a wet sand. Okay. That's what we're looking for. So we're getting this going right now. This is what we have. Okay. Kind of like wet sand or. For you pastry guys, that is you. Okay, so how long are we going to cook this? Six to seven minutes, yeah. Okay, so we're going to cook it approximately six to seven minutes. We're going to do it on low heat. Okay. Okay, what did you guys find out about sauces? Why, do, why are we making sauces? What's the whole thing of it? Okay, it adds flavor. Okay. What else does it do to your dish? What did you makes find out about it? What's makes that? It more expensive. Makes it, yeah, it, you, you can increase your price that you're selling, okay, if you have a nice sauce, okay? So it adds plate appeal, okay? 
What else does it do? Okay, we got a we got a chicken chicken breast sauce, no sauce. How's it going to enhance that chicken breast? It's going to make it more moist. Yeah, it's going to make it more moist. And um, you know, we talked about pricing. You know, you've got a dull plate over here, no sauce, and you took all this time to make a nice sauce. You put it on your plate. You know, there's five seven dollars more you can charge. So, and how much is it going to cost you to make that sauce? It's not going to cost seven dollars. Okay, so. Make a little bit of money, right, Phil? A little bit. Yeah. Phil's, Phil's eyes lit up at that. Eighteen <laughs> dollar sign. <laughs> okay. So now, roux. Okay. When we add our liquid, we're going to add it really gradually. Okay. Then we're going to bring it to a simmer. Okay. Now, the more you cook the roux, the less thickening power you have, because like I talked about yesterday. You've got your roux, you've got your uh, white roux, you've got your blonde roux, and you've got your brown roux. And what the flour, flour granules are doing, they're expanding. Okay? The more they expand, the less thickening power you have. The more you cook it, the more they expand. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, Chef. Okay, we're just work, working this around. Okay, get some color onto this mirepoix for our um, espanol. And we're working on our velouté here. Now for our velouté, so we're using chicken stock. What other types of stock can we use? Okay. No. Veal is a brown stock. No, veal doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay. Veal can also be a, a white veal stock. Okay, we could have made white veal stock with our veal bones yesterday. How would we have done that? Would have rinsed them first and then blanched them? Yes. And not add carrots. Okay. No tomato paste. Okay. Yes, you can do a white veal stock, okay? Um, so, chicken stock, white chicken stock, and what else type of stock? Fish. Okay, fish fume or fish stock. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be making the four mother sauces. Which mother are we forgetting? Tomato. Tomato. And we forgot Mrs. Tomato. We're going to do Mrs. Tomato later on. Okay, so now we add our stock, we're going to take, we're going to use a whisk. Okay, we want to use a whisk so we can eliminate the clumps. Okay, so we've got hot roux, so what's, what temperature is our stock going to be? Cold. 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 Okay. okay, so when we add it, we're going to add it gradually. Okay, when we add it gradually, we're going to turn up the heat a little bit. Now, in order to reach gelatinization point, that's the point where it starts to thicken, we have to get up to 180 degrees, which is simmering. Okay, everyone come on over here and see what I'm doing. Okay, so it's going to get really thick really quick. Okay, kind of like that of here, right? So how do you know you're up to 180 degrees? When um, it starts to get thick. Because it has to reach 180 degrees before it starts to gelatinize the flour. Okay, so we're going to bring this back up to 180 degrees, let it get thick again. This is going to be our consistency adjuster. Now, this is like salt and pepper. We can add more, but it's tough to take it out. If you add too much stock, what can you do? You can, you can add more roux, okay, which you really don't want to do. You can simmer it down, which you have to watch out because it could scorch on the bottom if you get it too hot. Okay. Or you can just try to get it, try to get it um, the correct consistency in the beginning. And that's what we're trying to do right now. So you don't necessarily have to use all of the six cups? You do not. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's the difference between baking. Okay, so we're going to whisk in some more stuff. Okay, now our ideal th uh, thickness we're going to put it on the back burner to simmer with the sachet. It's going to be just a touch before and half hit. We don't want it to be too thick because if it gets too thick, what happens when it simmers? It's going to get thicker and thicker because we're losing um, we're losing product due to evaporation. We're losing the water. Okay, see what's going on here, guys? It's starting to get brown. Okay, but it's not burning, right? Yes, yeah, sure. We do not want it to burn.
Okay, tomorrow. Like I said, make sure to bring your containers. Okay? We can, you can take, you can make soup out of this. You can make chicken pot pie out of this. Okay. I hate to see anybody throw away food, especially people in the industry that know better. Yeah, you make the chicken soup. Yeah. These stocks turned out really nice. You guys did a really good job on these stocks. Yeah. So you're gonna see how good, good a job you did when you taste the sauce. It's really flavorful.